Managing risk as a trader is critical. Since it's impossible for every trade to be profitable, a trader's main goal is to make more gross profit than gross loss overall. Arguably, the best way to do that is to have a positive ratio of risk to reward. For example, a ratio of 1 to 2 means that for every $1 potentially lost, the potential gain is $2. If you were to buy a mini lot or 0.1 lot of euro dollar at $1.10, with this ratio, you could set your stop at 109 and your target at 112. The potential loss there would be $100 and the potential profit $200. One of the most common practical mistakes among traders of almost all levels of experience is having a negative ratio of risk to reward. It's critical to avoid that. The potential loss from any trade must never be greater than the potential profit. XS's web platform can help you to calculate ratios. When setting a stop and target there, it'll show you the amount of money and percentage of balance to be gained or lost if either your target or stop were triggered. Try to use a ratio that fits your strategy. For example, setting a ratio of 1 to 10 as a scalper is unrealistic because prices will almost never move that much in a short time. 1 to 1.5 would probably be better. Equally, as a position trader, you probably prefer a higher ratio most of the time, probably at least 1 to 3. Your ratio works in combination with the sizes of your trades to manage risk. Usually, the maximum risk per trade as a percentage of an account can be anywhere from 1% to 5%. For example, if you have an account of $10,000 and 2% risk, you can afford to lose up to $200 per trade. In that scenario, it follows that you aim to profit 4% plus per trade. Applying to this to the same situation with Euro Dollar, the volume could be increased to too many lots. The potential profit would be $400 and the potential loss $200. However, it's usually best to find the correct technical placement for a stop first, then think about sizing later. Support and resistance or ATR can be useful for this. Setting stops based on fixed percentages of loss often doesn't work because the area of the stop in that situation might be irrelevant. Let's compare two scenarios. One where the trader doesn't follow any of these rules and the other where the rules are followed in order. The results of following the rules will almost always be better. Remember that a good ratio is just one of the tools in your arsenal. Even if you have a great ratio, you'll still lose money if you're wrong about the direction much more than half the time. You also need to analyze well and focus on higher probabilities.